Hi, this is Rob. I'm going to demonstrate two methods to graph a circle with a center at x equals negative 5 and y equals 3, thus point negative 5, 3, and with a radius of 7. The first thing to do is set up the TID4 for the graph. Press the y equals button. Make sure you have no equations here. If you do, delete them. Then, turn off stat plots. Press the second button then the y equals button, which is the stat plot button. Number four is to turn stat plots off, and number five is to turn stat plots on. We want number four. Press the four button. Now press the enter button. It says done, which means the stat plots are off. Press the clear button to clear this home screen. Now to set a standard graphing window, Press the zoom button. We want Z standard, number 6, so press the 6 button. Press the zoom button again. Now we want number 5, Z squared. This will square up the graphing window so that our circle does not look like an oval. Each time you adjust the graphing window when working with circles, you need to set Z squared. Exit this graph by pressing the second button, then the quick button, which is the mode button. Now to enter the data for our circle. Press the second button, then the program button, which is also the draw button. We want number 9, circle, so press the 9 button. Enter the x value of the center point, in this case a negative 5. Make sure to use the negative sign here and not the minus sign. Enter a comma. Enter the y value of the center point, in this case a 3. Enter a comma. Now enter the value for the radius of the circle, in this case a 7. Close the parentheses. Now press the enter button. There is our circle. You can see that the top of the circle just fits within the graphing window. If you had a larger circle that went off the screen, you can adjust the graphing window. In this example, we need the positive y-axis to be longer. Press the window button, go down to y max, and change the 10 to a 15. As a reminder, if you're getting any value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. Whenever you adjust the window graph, you need to square the graphing window again. Press the zoom button. Choose number 5, Z squared, by pressing the 5 button. This graph pops up, but we need to exit the graph. Press the second button, then the quick button. It takes us back to the home screen. So we can repeat this command just by pressing the enter button. Press the enter button. There is our same circle, but on a larger graph area. Now we can plot a center point in this circle, but we have to exit the graph. Press the second button, then the quick button. To plot the center point, press the second button, then the program button. Arrow over to points. We want number one, point on, so press the one button. Enter the coordinates of the center point, which is a negative 5, 3. Press the Enter button. There is the center point of the circle. Before you graph your next circle, you need to clear this graph of this circle. To clear this circle, press the second button, then the program button. We want number 1, clear, draw, so press the 1 button. This graph window pops up, but you need to exit it before you start your next circle. Press the second button, then the quick button. Clear the home screen by pressing the clear button. Another way to graph a circle is use the Conix app. Press the apps button. We want number 4, Conix. Press the 4 button. We want number 1, Circle, press the 1 button. Here we have to choose which equation in the circle we want to graph. In this case, we only have the center point and the radius of the circle. However, 
H is the X value of the center point, and K is the Y value of the center point. So we want number 1. Press the 1 button. Here it asked us to enter H, K, and R. R is the radius of the circle. For our circle, enter a negative 5 for H, enter 3 for K, enter, and the radius of our circle is 7. 7, enter. Now press the graph button. Here is the graph of our circle. The disadvantage of this graph is that you cannot adjust the graphing window. This is all you get, which may be all you want. To exit this graph, press the second button, then the quick button. Now you are ready to graph your next circle. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.